the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Nandikanu, has always reiterated on Radio Biafra that the British understand the true identity of Biafran people and know who they are. They are the light of Africa, hence the reason why they are refusing to let Biafra go. To the extent that they killed over 3 million Biafrans through a food blockage during the Biafra genocidal war just to suppress the freedom of Biafra. There are many secrets that has been hidden from the world about the Biafra people and their true identity. But today, let's discuss about the symbol of the Star of David on the oldest Nigerian flag that was later changed by the British to green, white, green. The reason and the need for the Star of David on the present Biafra flag adopted by the IPOB leader Nandekanu. The flag of Nigeria between 1914 and 1960 was a British blue ensign with a green star of David surrounding a total crown, later changed to a Saint Edward crown in 1953 with the white word Nigeria under it on a red disc. It was adopted by the colony and protectorate of Nigeria following the amalgamation of the Southern Nigeria Protectorate and the Northern Nigeria Protectorate. History The colonial flag of Nigeria was adopted in 1914 following the amalgamation of Southern and Northern Nigeria. It was first suggested by the first Governor General of Nigeria, Sir Frederick Lugard as a symbol of the unification of Nigeria and because of the seal of Solomon which was associated with the native Igbo Jews. The Star of David had already been in use in Nigeria during the British rule because of the Igbo Jews who were featured on coins of the British West African pounds. This was confirmed in the 1917 discovery of a brown star of David attributed to the Igbo Jews in Aguneri, Omambara, Biafra land. The crest on the flag was also used on the flag of the Governor General of Nigeria. The flag was not universally accepted. Some native Nigerians, including Felakuti, refused to salute the flag despite it being mandated in schools. In 1956, some Nigerian Muslims burnt the Nigerian blue ensign at Mecca, Saudi Arabia, because of the Jewish star of David on it. In 1959, prior to Nigerian independence, a competition to design a new flag was held with Taiwo Akinkumi designing the new flag of Nigeria, which replaced the blue ensign in 1960. Now, listening to this expository video broadcast made by Mazi Nandikanu, and after that, we can evaluate further. Thank you. Now, go to that map. Flag of Nigeria. Please publish it. Flag of Nigeria, 1914 to 1960. Now, listen very carefully, please. And I'm going to read it for all of you, so you can follow it very carefully. First of all, once you see this very flag that Britain designed, you ask yourself, what is the Star of David doing on a flag of a people that actually hate Jews? Britain. Britain hated Jews so much that they never wanted Israel to be free. Britain fought on the side of Jordan to destroy Israel in 1948. Some of you don't know that I'm telling you, call history tonight. That the, the history of British suppression of the people of the book did not start today. Britain were bombed out of Israel. Bomb. The Israelis used bomb to drive them away. Britain went to, to Britain had what was called the Palestine Mandate. Their job was to stop the creation of Israel. Do you know that? Some of you don't read, you don't research. It was the job of Britain. Set the same mandate that Satan gave to Britain in Biafra, Satan gave Britain the same mandate in Israel. Satan said to Britain, Satan brought Britain and said to Britain, you must sit here, you must give this land to Arabs. Are you aware of that? So some of you don't know, but I will teach you. This evening. Now we read. 
The flag of Nigeria between 1914 and 1960 was a British blue ensign. British designed it with a green star of David, green, to signify the fertile lands of the Africa. Now listen, I will repeat. The flag of Nigeria between 1914 and 1960 was a British blue ensign with a, a green star of David. Now, is Britain a Jewish state? Now, I'm just asking the idiots. Is Britain a Jewish state? If the answer is no, then ask yourself, what are British people? What? I have given people asking foolish questions. Your number one assignment is, I'm trying to weave a web here for you. Your number one assignment is to perform a pilgrimage. Please go to Nsude, go to Udi, and go and look at the pyramids that our ancestors built. And then ask yourself, where? I ask you again, where? Do you have such pyramids? It's in Egypt. So now, the next question is, did Egyptians come to Enugu state to come and build pyramid? Then now you are going to answer that question, not me. That's number one. I want to establish what I call biblical link between Biafra and Israel. Biblical that your two naked eyes can see. Although some of you are with your foolish brain, you cannot reason, at least your two eyes can see. Go to Enugu, you will see it. That was part of the reason why Enugu was chosen. The, the other one I will not tell you because you cannot comprehend it. You can't understand it. Ask yourself, what is the star of David doing? Are British people, are they Jewish? Are they from Israel? But Britain put this very star there. Where did you find the star? That is a very simple question. Britain, where did you get the star of David that you put on this Nigerian flag? In mind you that Nigeria contains the south and the north, encompassing the whole of Biafra. Now listen very carefully. It was later changed to St. Edward's Canada to the train with the white word Nigeria under it as a red disc. It was adopted by the colony and protectorate of Nigeria following the amalgamation of the south and the northern protectorate. Are you following very carefully? The colonial flag of the zoo was adopted in 1914 following the amalgamation of southern and northern Nigeria, it was first suggested by the first governor general of Nigeria, Sir Frederick Lugard. So, Lugard knew where we came from, but they said we have no history. And please, tonight, you must pay attention. Uno Nant, listen, open your ears and listen. Write anything that is confusing, you write it down. Go back later on to go and interrogate it. You'll find the answers to it. It was adopted by the colonies. Lugard started the whole thing. They asked Lugard, why did you do this? He said, it's a symbol of the unification of Nigeria because of the seal of Solomon, which was associated with the native Igbo Jews. Lugard said, Igbo Jews, Lugard, Lugard. I must say, I, I pledge to Nigeria, my country. I am, I I am a proud Nigerian. The person that created you a nigger, said the reason why i am putting the seal of solomon or star of david as they call it on this flag here of uh, british colonial nigeria is because this particular star according to a white man in before 1914 but unveiled in 1914 when some of you have not been born some of you even the alamajri that impregnated your some of you your mothers uh, during the war have not been born by them they fully are you listening very carefully i want to open your skull so you can reason because when it comes to education and research i don't think that uh, apart from princeton library in the usa i don't think anybody can compete with us to be honest with you i, I don't think they can i'm not being arrogant i don't think you can some of you are not educated enough to stand and to debate. You know, go out, but you're not, you're not learned. And when you're not learned, how, how can you, how, how can you reason properly? I, I hope you're following. Ask yourself this question: Why would a white man who is not Jewish, a white man who is not circumcised, what is he doing with the star of David? And some of you are so foolish. You don't know that this very Igbo Jewish star of david on the flag was done in 1914 
Israel only adopted this star of David in 1948. Are some of you brainy? 1914, 1948, which one is older? Who is copying who? According to Mazi Namdekanu, the inscription of the star of David on Biafran flag is portraying the Jewishness of Biafrans. The four elements of the earth or the four market days in Biafran land. It also represents the Igbo origin known as Eri heritage. Effects of symbols towards imaginations. A critical evaluation of the historic star of David in the Biafra flag. On April 18, 2020, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, a Biafra separatist movement in Nigeria, which have the people's mandate to restore an independent state of Biafra in the former eastern region of Nigeria through an independent referendum modified in nation's flag. The new flag shares some similarities with its predecessor. They both feature a horizontal tricolor of red, black, and green, charged with a golden rising sun over a golden bar as their primary color. However, the similarities end there. The new flag features a hexagram star designed to dispute the historical star of David in the Bible. Objectives. The main thrust of this speech is to investigate the impact of the modified Biafra flag with a hexagram star and its influence towards the restoration of Biafra. In carrying out this study, a descriptive research design were adopted to guide the three research questions and objectives posited in the study. Methodology. A structured questionnaire was designed by the researcher and administered on the respondent. It has eight multi-choice questions structured from the research questions. It seeks to elicit the respondent's view and feelings about the historical hexagram star of David in the Biafra flag. Findings. From the findings of this study, it was revealed that the hexagram star of David is of great importance in tracing the historic roots of Biafra and Igbo culture. The study also discovered that nations like Israel, which shares the histogram star in their flag, will support Biafra restoration. Conclusion The study concluded that although it is true that we increasingly become global citizens, we also continue to draw upon our national identity to understand ourselves as new countries continue to be created, including recent addition of an emerging Biafra state. The importance of national symbol in forging national identity should not be discounted while globalism increases due to technology, economies, and politics National symbols remain powerful tools in maintaining nations' corporate identity and historic antecedents because people are social creatures who desire a sense of belonging. The nation remains an important basis for identity worldwide. Recommendations. The study, among others, recommends that the modified Biafra flag should be emphatically redesigned with latest 3D technology, capable of displaying the Star of David in its full form. It also recommends that adequate sensitization should be carried out to educate people on the true reflection of Hexagram Star. Ndewo. Now, please drop your comments after listening. Let's hear from your own point of view.